Today, we're checking out 23 open source projects that are trending on GitHub right now, tools that might your next side project. If you're a developer who loves discovering useful repos without digging through GitHub all day, this one's for you. Every project I mention will be linked in the description so you can jump straight to what you care about. First up, Reader 3, a self-hosted EPUB reader designed for one simple mission, reading books together with your LLM. It lets you load any EPUB and go through it chapter by chapter, making it super easy to copy, paste, and discuss the text with your favorite model. Perfect for grabbing classics from Project Gutenberg and turning them into an interactive reading session. The creator calls it 90% vibe-coded, a tiny take-it-as-is tool meant purely to inspire. FreeMDU, a project that cracks open the world of Mealy Appliance Diagnostics. Miele has used a hidden infrared-based optical diagnostic interface on their appliances since the 90s, but accessing it traditionally required an expensive proprietary adapter and closed source tooling only available to certified technicians. FreeMDU changes that completely. This project provides open hardware, firmware, and software that let anyone communicate with these appliances. Code Mode, a project for tool calls via code execution. Normally, LLMs struggle with complex tool calling, but they're fantastic at writing code. Code Mode embraces that strength by giving your agent just one tool, the ability to execute TypeScript code that already has access to your entire toolbox. Code Mode turns multi-step tool orchestration into a single elegant block of code. Independent benchmarks even show potential cost savings of over $9,500 per year. Install Nothing is a tiny Rust-based terminal app that simulates installing, well, nothing. Run it and you'll get progress bars, fake logs, pretend package lists, the whole installing things vibe without actually changing anything on your system. It's playful and licensed under the extremely permissive do whatever you want with it license. If you love terminal toys, want a fun demo app, or just enjoy confusing your coworkers, Install Nothing is a perfect little Rust project to star. Next up is Journev, a self-hosted private journaling app designed for anyone who wants to keep their thoughts, moods, and memories secure and organized. Journev offers comprehensive journaling features, track your mood over time, write with prompt-based entries, upload media, and explore insights with analytics. Advanced Search lets you find exactly what you're looking for, all wrapped in a clean, minimal UI that keeps the focus on your writing. Claude X, VS Code extension that brings the full power of Claude code directly into your editor. This extension gives you a gorgeous integrated chat interface where you can talk to Claude, run commands, browse conversation history, and let the model intelligently understand and modify your code base. It supports multiple Claude models, streams responses in real time, and even handles permission-based tool access so you stay in control of what the assistant can do. Next up is Fergit, a fast Git library written in Go. It's still early in development. Fergit isn't trying to replace the Git CLI. Instead, it's designed as a high-performance library for projects like Forges, IDE integrations, and custom Git tooling. It has no dependencies outside the Go standard library, supports SHA-1 and SHA-256, and uses memory mapped I.O., delta optimizations, and zero copy techniques to squeeze out serious speed. Oracle the CLI that lets your agents whisper their toughest questions to a more powerful model and bundle the exact context and files the Oracle needs to answer. Think of it as a repeatable way to hand an assembled prompt plus attachments to GPT 5.1 or GPT 5 Pro and get back a focused file-aware response. It handles prompt assembly, file bundling, and session logging for you, so you can just ask the Oracle, wait a few minutes, and get freakishly good answers back. Talus Proxmox GitOps, an end-to-end -end infrastructure as code blueprint that brings enterprise-grade Kubernetes automation into your home lab, complete with single-click deployment. This project combines Proxmox, Talus Linux, and Argo CD into a fully automated pipeline. You get an immutable Talus-based Kubernetes cluster, high availability with one control plane and two worker nodes, persistent NFS-backed storage, and automatic cleanup if something goes wrong during provisioning. 
TechStop is a framework that lets you control humanoid robots in real time using just text. Imagine typing a command and instantly seeing a robot perform smooth, whole body motions, from simple gestures to complex sequences, all without pre-recorded scripts or manual programming. It's fully open source, covering the full pipeline from dataset construction and model training to deployment on real robots. MemLayer, a plug and play memory layer that gives any LLM persistent, human-like recall in minutes. With MemLayer, your agents can remember context across conversations, extract structured knowledge, and surface exactly the information they need, all automatically. It's fast, 100 milliseconds for lightweight searches, intelligent, and 100% local with zero configuration. It works with OpenAI, Claude, Gemini, Alama, basically any model you're already using. Codex Bar, a macOS menu bar app designed to keep your Codex token usage in view at all times. No dock icon, just a dynamic bar icon showing your five-hour and weekly usage windows, along with reset times. Codex Bar reads local session logs to track your token consumption, so for most features, no login is required. If you want to track paid credits from ChadGPT, you can sign in once via an embedded window with full control to log out or clear cookies anytime. Docker TUI, a keyboard-driven terminal dashboard for Docker, built in Rust using Ratatouille. Docker TUI brings everything Docker-related into one clean interface. Containers, images, networks, volumes, and even compose projects. You can start, stop, restart, inspect, and prune with just a few keystrokes. Smart search and filtering make it easy to find exactly what you need, and there's even a built-in shell inside containers with autocomplete, history, and navigation. Pocketeer, a fast pocket finder for protein structures written in Python. Using the AlphaSphere method based on Delaunay tessellation, similar to the popular fPocket, Pocketeer detects binding pockets and cavities with a modern Pythonic interface. It's designed to be flexible, letting you use it as a Python library or a command line tool, and it fully supports biotite atom arrays for seamless integration with Atomworks. RecForge, a scalable recommendation system framework built on PyTorch. It's designed to give researchers and engineering teams a complete experience from modeling and training to evaluation, all in a modular, production-ready environment. RecForge supports multi-scenario recommendations, retrieval, multitask learning, and even generative recommendation models like Tigger and HSTU. Flowfeet, a framework for pixel-dense embeddings of motion profiles, Flowfeet distills optical flow networks into fine-grained, task-agnostic pixel-level representations, providing features that capture motion with high spatial precision and temporal consistency. Dynamic objects stand out, and the embeddings scale gracefully with input resolution, making it ideal for high-resolution video or complex motion analysis. Strace MacOS, a system call tracer for macOS built using the LLDB debugger API. It's currently in beta, but the core functionality works, providing a Python-powered alternative to DTrust without needing to disable system integrity protection. For macOS developers who want to trace system calls safely and conveniently, Strace MacOS is a lightweight, powerful option, perfect for debugging or performance monitoring without touching SIP. VibeThinker is a 1.5 billion parameter dense model that's redefining what small models can do. Using post-training methodology called the Spectrum to Signal Principle, VibeThinker achieves reasoning capabilities that rival much larger models, surpassing closed source models like Magistral Medium and Claude Opus 4, and matching open source heavyweights like GPT OSS 20B Medium. Not only is it ultra efficient, it's also cost effective. Next up is Channels Console, a lightweight Rust tool that gives you real-time visibility into your channels. Perfect for understanding message flow, queue depth, delays, throughput, and memory usage, it helps you quickly spot and diagnose channel-related issues. Channels Console provides detailed per-channel stats, including sent and received messages, queue capacity, and memory usage, all with background processing to minimize profiling overhead. HPC Crypt, a high-performance cryptography library written in Rust. Designed for security and usability, 
HP Script brings production-ready modern cryptography to your Rust projects with zero unsafe code and full memory safety. It's no STED compatible, so it runs in embedded or constrained environments, and it's fully standards compliant. If you're building secure, high-performance applications in Rust, HP Script is a library worth adding to your toolkit. ZigBook, a project-driven guide to the Zig programming language, and one of the most thoughtfully crafted learning resources in the Zig ecosystem. ZigBook isn't just another language manual. It takes you on a structured journey from the fundamentals all the way into advanced systems programming. We're talking more than 60 chapters that alternate between concept lessons and real-world project builds, so every idea gets reinforced through hands-on practice. Settings Kit a declarative Swift UI framework for building settings interfaces that feel completely native on iOS and macOS. With Settings Kit, you can define your settings hierarchy using simple, composable Swift UI style building blocks and get automatic support for navigation, search, and multiple presentation styles right out of the box. If you're building apps with Swift UI and want beautiful, Settings Kit makes it easy and elegant. FastMCPP is a high-performance C++ implementation of the MCP. Designed as a native port of Python's FastMCP library, it delivers the same core MCP functionality with C++ speed and a minimal dependency footprint. FastMCPP supports multiple transport layers, STDIO and WebSocket, and JSON schema validation. Middleware support enables flexible request and response processing, and it integrates seamlessly with MCP-compatible CLI tools.